Dr. Gregor, author of How Not to Die, has created a new app. Let's let him explain it. As the list of foods I try to fit into my daily diet grew, I made a checklist and had it up on a little dry erase board on the fridge, and we'd make a game out of ticking off the boxes. This evolved into my daily dozen, the checklist of all the things I try to fit into my daily routine. I started out my day with maple and brown sugar oatmeal with a side of kiwi and pomegranate juice. I added flax seeds, banana chunks, pecans, and cannelli beans to my oatmeal. Yes, beans do actually taste good in oatmeal. With this first meal alone, I was able to mark off a serving of beans, a serving of fruit, a serving of flax seeds, a serving of nuts, and a serving of whole grains. For supplements, I take a spray of B12 and D3, omega-3, a vegan version, turmeric and fenugreek. I also like to add a half a teaspoon of matcha to my hibiscus tea. I love snacking on frozen blueberries. It's a nice treat, and I can uh, check off a few more with that. I like sprouted toasted bread with peanut butter, and I had a large salad with apple slices, carrots, and hummus. I used Just Ranch, Max Flax homemade croutons, and chickpeas that I made. And I can't forget to be marking off that water intake. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Adding black beans to your salad is an easy way to get all the recommended daily servings of lagoons and beans. Carrots and air fried Brussels sprouts dipped in just ranch is sure tasty. I know vegan ranch isn't healthy, but a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The limited role I see for yellow light foods in a healthy diet is to promote the consumption of green light foods. Uh, they can be the spoonful of sugar that makes the medicine go down. So if the only way I can get a patient to eat oatmeal in the morning is to make it creamy with almond milk, then tell them to add almond milk. Uh, the same could be said for red light foods. If the only way you're going to eat a big salad is to sprinkle it with bakos, uh, sprinkle away uh, bakos or what I refer to as ultra-processed foods, bearing no redeeming nutritional qualities or resemblance to anything that grew out of the ground, and often with added badness. Uh, Bakos, for example, have added trans fats, salt, sugar, and even red number 40, a food dye that may cause thousands of thyroid cancers every year. As a red light food, it should ideally be avoided. But if the alternative to your big spinach salad with Bakos is KFC, then it's better to sprinkle. For example, without hot sauce, my intake of dark green leafy vegetables would plummet. Yeah, I could try making my own from scratch, but for the time being, the green ends justify the red means. Dried fruit is an easy enough snack, and a few handfuls will mark off yet another box. The serving size in the beverage category is one glass, 12 ounces, and uh, the recommended five glasses a day is in addition to the water you get naturally from the foods in your diet. Finally, I advise one daily serving of exercise, which can be split up over the day. I recommend 90 minutes of moderate-intensity activity each day, such as brisk, you know, 4 miles per hour walking, or 40 minutes of vigorous activity, such as jogging or active sports, each day. I will finish off with another leafy green salad and homemade hash browns. And I also finish off with a water before bed. I'm going to leave you with this last little tidbit from Dr. Greger. No need to be obsessive about the Daily Dozen. You know, on hectic travel days when I've burned through my snacks, you know, stuck in some airport food court somewhere, sometimes I'm lucky if I even hit a quarter of my goals, right? If you eat poorly one day, just try to eat better the next. I hope you enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Goodbye.